Today we're going to show you how we learn how to start beginning to play the violin. There are three main things I like to teach as the first week of the lesson, uh, and the very first day, and these are the things they practice during that week. And those things are how to say and clap the twinkle variation rhythms. The second thing is knowing your parts of the violin and the bow. And the third thing is learning how to hold the bow and do windshield wipers with the bow. And that's usually their assignment for the first lesson and for the whole week. So this is Katera, and she's going to clap for you the rhythms that she learned. This is her third day of lessons, and she's going to clap each rhythm she learned, starting with Mississippi Hot Dog. Mississippi Hot Dog. Very good. Grasshopper, grasshopper. Grasshopper, grasshopper. Very good. Popcorn, mm, and ice cream, mm, and. Popcorn, and ice cream, and. Excellent. Chocolate, chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. Perfect. One potato, two potato. One potato, two potato. Very good. Now on the first day, uh, some of those rhythms may be a little tricky for them. This is her third day, and it wasn't perfect the first day. So she's come a long way. We've been practicing it three times a day in short increments of about 15 minutes each. Um, and it's really helped. She's gotten very good with the rhythms. Uh, students must be able to clap and say the rhythms. If they cannot clap the rhythm and say the rhythm, they will not be able to play it. So don't think it's a good idea to just jump right to trying to play these on the instrument if they can't pass those two steps, clapping and saying the rhythms. Another step in learning to clap and say the rhythms that I like to go over with students is learning to recognize the rhythms when they are played. Um, students must fully understand the rhythm so well that when they hear it played, they automatically know what it is. So now we're going to test Katera by playing the rhythms, and she's going to see if she knows what they are. I'll just do open string. Okay. okay. Open string, meaning no fingers, just open string. Okay, I'll do it again. No, okay. So that one... She doesn't recognize. She knew it the other day, but she doesn't now. What we do is we're going to move on to another one. So let's do a different one. Mississippi hot dog. You can hear the rhythm. Mississippi hot dog. Mississippi hot dog. You can hear it in there. I think I know the other one. Okay. What, what did you think it was? Grasshopper. You think? Let's, I'll do the other one again. Grasshopper. Right. Grasshopper. 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 Very good. So she remembered it. Now, I can't emphasize enough the importance of consistency because um, the more they do this, the easier it's going to be for them and the quicker they will learn. Of course, just like anything in life, the more you do it, the better you get. Now, I have to make a confession that yesterday I got a little lazy. This is our third day of practice and yesterday we, did, we only did it one time because I um, taught a full schedule of other students. And by the end of the day, I was just too tired. So, I think if I had gone over these with her yesterday, we actually didn't get this far yesterday. But on the first day, we did, and she was doing pretty well. But yesterday, we didn't get to the recognizing. And I think it, made, it has made a difference because today took a minute for her to remember. So, again, I can't emphasize enough the importance of consistency. You must do this every day. Um, or really, I require at least six days of, of practice to really make progress in one day off. Okay, we're going to do another one. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Right. Can you say it 
come back to me? Popcorn and ice cream. No, popcorn mm. and ice cream. Mm. And say it just like it goes. Popcorn mm. and ice cream. Mm. And. Correct. Very good. And always make sure they enunciate. For instance, when you play Mississippi Hot Dog and they tell you what it is, they shouldn't say Mississippi Hot Dog. They should say it just like they hear it, Mississippi Hot Dog. Enunciation is very important. Okay, we're going to the next one. So, so far you got three of them. Some days she was getting it confused with another, but very good, you got it. Excellent. So how about this one? Chocolate, chocolate. Very good. Chocolate, chocolate. Excellent. Okay. So that is her practice of recognizing the rhythms for today.